Alright guys, in this video we'll be talking about AMC Entertainment Holdings, ticker symbol AMC. I've been giving you guys all new levels, even a massive buying level, but I am looking for some pressure to come off AMC to actually start buying again. I have not bought any in here. Like I told you guys, I am looking to scalp it unless we see that nice consistent up run that, like this, like it wants to start going up here. Then I'll start building for the long term. But for right now, I'm mostly looking for scalps in AMC. So I'll be giving you all the key levels, massive buying level, new resistance levels, support levels, all the key levels I'll be looking out for on Monday. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. And uh, we'll also be going to the back data. So let me explain these old levels first, and then we'll go to the back data. So we had a buying level right here, right around $18. Okay. Right around $18. As you can tell, I wanted pressure to come above there, right, for this level to be active. What did it do? Acted as resistance. What does that mean? That is bearish. When a buying level acts as resistance, that is bearish. What do we have? Stock fell. Take that off. And this was a resistance level. It did hit once. That's why I was thinking when it came back up here, it should be a little weaker because resistance already kind of occurred right there. So I was hoping that uh, we would get pressure at that buying level to blow through that resistance level, but we didn't, and it's falling lower. Okay, so let's take that off as well. Let's go over and go to the back data, and then we'll come back to the chart. All right, guys, so here we are with some of the back data on AMC Entertainment Holdings, ticker symbol AMC. Price is about 1470-ish. We'll go over the charts right after this, put some all new levels on here for you guys. Days range about 1340 to 1525. Market cap about 7.46 7 billion. They lost a lot on their market cap since the uh, shares have been falling a lot. Sh percentage of float shorted about 19%. Okay, about 19%. I know a lot of people are saying uh, it's higher than ticker symbol CZOO. I do have an update with that for you guys, but um, AMC is about 19% shorted. And average volume is about 44.3 so once you see a day that has a little bit bigger than 44.3 there could be a move coming could be some more interest coming to amc so make sure you watch out for that also okay chart key points game stock rise of the players is a documentary premiering in movie theaters this weekend including the amc multiplex near you okay this could get a push in AMC. I mean, AMC and GameStop. We will see. AMC shares have fallen 80% since peaking in June. GameStop stock is trading at 77% low last year's peak. The two most prolific mean stocks have teamed up often, but they are taking similar steps to glamphanize their retail shareholders. Okay. Um, I mean, that's really all I wanted to show you on uh, this document right there. Do not forget. Once this signals has 200 and this has 50, signals will be closed, okay? So make sure you come get your spot. Regular signals, you get my buy and sell signals when I'm buying and selling for options and shares. You also get um, a chat room when we talk to the markets every day. I give you key levels. You can also ask me questions. VIP, you also get this room. You also get your own Discord room and different type of plays, okay? It's also of me teaching you how to trade in the markets. So you get two monthly live teaching zooms. You get 24-7 access to the crash course. So the crash course is in the VIP. Okay. So I think VIP is the best bundle. And then for the stock market after crash course, you can use will half off. Make sure you write it out. It'll take off 50% of the stock market options crash course. That is good until Tuesday. I mean, not Tuesday. That is good until February 7th, which is my birthday. Okay. So if you enjoy the videos and stuff, make sure you come sign up for the signals. Or you can get the crash course. We'll half off, take off 50%. And don't forget to su come subscribe to Will Knowledge Crypto channel. I want to get over 1,000 subscribers before my birthday. Okay? So come over here and subscribe. Check out the videos. I did post a video today on Ethereum. Big, big levels on Ethereum. I think Ethereum is about to be at a breaking point. You might want to watch that. So come over here and subscribe to Will Knowledge Crypto. And let's go back to the chart. Okay, so now we went over the back data. Let's put all new levels on here on the charts. Today, five-day, five-minute chart. Looks good. Okay, potential scalps in here. Like I said, if you bought here, about 6%. Seem like it's kind of giving that up right now. Might see some lower prices today. We'll see how that kind of unfolds. But future level that I'm looking at, resistance level, I would say is about $16, okay? So kind of close to where price is now. And it kind of takes um, some profit away out of it also. 
So if we look a little bit closer, where price is now to that 16 mark, I'm pretty sure you can get, see about 8%. Usually my minimum is 10%. So it is kind of wearing on that profit. So this resistance level will have to break um, on the upside for me to see any buying levels up here. Okay, that's the first thing. Resistance level will need a break. So like this, right? Resistance level breaks. And then resistance level will test as a support, not the exact level, but in that area. And that would be a nice signal to actually buy. That's why I say just make sure you're in the Discord room, look in the description, pin in the comments before that Discord room is full. But that's one thing I'm looking for if that resistance breaks. Okay, so that's if we get an up movement. If we get a down movement, my level is right around $13. Okay, that's a massive buying level that I see right around that $13 range. Also, I will be picking a different trading platform. I'll be putting $100 in there and we will be growing that together. I have not picked a platform yet, but I think it'll be fun. We'll pick the plays every two days. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll pick those plays on how to trade that $100 account and we can see how our growth is gonna be, okay? So if you guys like that, just put in the comment section, trading account. So I think it'll be fun for us to do, okay? I haven't picked a trading platform yet. So when I do, then uh, you guys can make an account, start with $100 and we can all do it together, okay? But buying level for AMC right around 13. If it drops, okay? If it drops, 13 is why I'm looking for buying pressure. And then 16 will be my exit. That's about a 23% gain, okay? That's if it drops. Make sure we get that buying pressure confirmation. Or we don't just buy because levels hit, okay? We always make sure we get that buying confirmation. So if it drops, looking for 13. If it does not drop, basically in between here, in between 60 and 13, I'm not looking to trade it pretty much, okay? I'm looking either buy it at 13 or I'm looking for the resistance level to break at 16 and then come back down as like a support. So resistance turn into a support. That's how I'm looking to play AMC right now uh, for potential scalps, okay? Like I said, with the long, we'll need some more consistent um, uptrend. But first, AMC needs to find that support. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, AMC is building that support soon. So we can start to see prices go higher and hopefully uh, this weekend, good news come out on the GameStop thing. And then hopefully next week we can start seeing some up movements, but the market is very heavy right now. So that is something else that we want to watch out for. Okay. But these are the main levels I'm looking for AMC. If you guys stayed this long, I'll go ahead and throw GME here at the end real quick. Just take these levels off. For GME, I don't see any buying levels below price. Okay. GME would need to come to about, I would say, $100.08. That is where I will be looking uh, for buying pressure on GME. Thank you guys for staying this long. A little bonus in here for you. So 108 is probably where I look for buying pressure. So it will need to break it, right? I need to break that, have some support down to it. That's why I'll be looking for the buying pressure around 108. And then I think we could take that up to about 130. That would be about a 20% gain. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking for right now in GME. And we need that pressure to come up. Hopefully, we get that over the weekend and Monday we can get that play in. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this extra bonus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and share the video out to your friends and family. And don't forget to use that code, we'll have off to get 50% off the stock market options crash course. That is good until February 7th, which is my birthday. So, always remember, none of this recommendation about or so anything, this is for education purposes only. So, do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.